The Chicago Bears beat the Rams by a score of 24-18 to go to 2-2 two two on the season. Now, guys, I cannot wait to go to Chicago Bears games this year. The atmosphere is going to be so electric, so much fun. And if you guys want the best place to get tickets, SeatGeek is that place. SeatGeek is a sponsor of today's video. And with over 28 million downloads, they are the number one rated ticketing app on the marketplace. They are the best place to go if you guys want tickets to sporting events, concerts, festivals, you name it. They have over 70,000 different events on SeatGeek, so a lot of different variety of events to choose from. I've purchased tickets on SeatGeek multiple times. The app is very easy to use. I bought tickets to the upcoming game against the Vikings later this season on SeatGeek, so excited to be attending that game. Now guys, SeatGeek puts all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal, so each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. If you look for the green dots, these are good deals. The red dots are bad deals, so they look out for you in terms of value finding, and you guys know it came through for you if you use my promo code the windy city at checkout there's a link down below to sign up use promo code the windy city you get 20 dollars off your first purchase on seeky that's 20 dollars off your first purchase on seeky using code the windy city what's going on guys i'm back with our chicago bears post game reaction video which i'll be doing after every single bears game this year and oh my gosh man Thank God we won that football game, okay? It was looking pretty dicey in the second half, but the Bears found a way to win off of a great performance from Jaquan Brisker, Torrey Taylor, our entire defense, Caleb Williams, DeAndre Swift. Like, so many guys played so well in the second half of this game, and they found a way to win this game, which is all that matters at the end of the day. As you guys saw on my live stream, I had a live stream going during this game. I was pretty nervous in the second half of this game, but Caleb Williams made some fantastic plays down the stretch. DeAndre Swift made some fantastic plays also down the stretch. Jaquan Brisker had the game ceiling interception, so... You know, they found a way to win the game, which I will give them credit for. Now, I still have to see more out of them to think that they will be a playoff team this year. But beating the Rams is still pretty impressive because Sean McVay is a top five coach, in my opinion. Like, he's one of the best coaches in the NFL. And this team beat the 49ers last weekend, right? So... This was not like an easy win for the Bears. They had to fight and earn this victory, and they did do so in this game. So, you know, I'm going to give them a lot of credit for doing so. I'm going to give Matt Eberflus a lot of credit for winning this game, even though it was not in a very dominant fashion, because a win is a damn win. And, you know, talking about the defense, first of all, okay, to sack Matt Stafford three times, to force an interception on him, to do a great job on third down in this game, to limit big plays going down the field. We only allowed a couple big plays down the field. I think our defense had a hell of a performance in this game. Again, I know that they were missing a lot of guys, so it was not a totally fair fight, but... You know, you can't complain about a performance like this, okay, out of the Bears defense to again allow only less than 20 points in this game. We got pressure on Matt Stafford at the right times in this game. You know, we have Montez Sweat come through with a big time forced fumble in this game. So we got multiple turnovers, which against a Matt Stafford, Sean McVay led offense, you have to find a way to get that. So hats off, man, to the Chicago Bears defense. They definitely held up their end of the bargain. And I was really impressed with how they played on third down, on fourth down, in crucial situations. They found a way to get the Rams off the field. So great job by Matt Eberflus and the Chicago Bears defense. But but talking about the Bears offense, man, Caleb only had 157 passing yards, one passing touchdown, and a couple rushing yards, which on the surface does not look that impressive, but he made a handful of really spectacular throws in this game to win the Chicago Bears' this football game, okay? Some throws where there was pressure coming his way, and he could have easily gotten sacked, but he still found a way to get the ball out of his hands. Those were the reason why the Chicago Bears won this football game, okay? A couple throws to Cole Komet, a couple throws to DeAndre Swift. With DeAndre Swift had 93 rushing yards in this game. He also had 72 receiving yards. He was the Bears' best playmaker in this game. I was so impressed by DeAndre Swift. So, you know, with, with how much slander I've been throwing DeAndre Swift's way, I'm really happy that he bounced back after that and still had a good performance in this game because I thought the Bears would probably bench him in this game, but he really showed off his ability to get some yards after the catch and, you know, really show off his 
you know, playmaking ability with the speed that he has in this game. Like, he was a major reason why the Bears won this game. Again, entering this game, I would not have said that DeAndre Swift would be a reason why we won this game, but somehow the Bears found a way to get some contributions out of him, which I am really happy about because we paid him so much money and we had to find a way to get some production out of him, and the Bears found that way to get production out of him, okay? He had a big time you know, catch after the screen pass that he caught. He had a couple passes on like, you know, third down that he caught to, to convert the first down. So, you know, really good game out of DeAndre Swift. Roshan Johnson also had a bunch of big time carries, which I've been begging for Roshan Johnson to get some carries on the Spears offense. And he had a couple first down conversions, which really showed his value on the Spears offense on those third and ones, on those third and goals at the one yard line. He showed that he can be a big asset to the Spears offense, which I've been you know, arguing for the past couple of weeks, you know, to give Roshan these carries on the third and ones. We finally gave him the carries on those third and ones. He, he made good on those carries, okay? He had a touchdown in the first half, which, you know, put the Bears up by a score of seven to six. And, you know, that, that, that's something that, again, Shane Waldron in the past would have given those carries to, uh, you know, DeAndre Swift or Khalil Herbert, but finally he gave those carries to Roshan Johnson, which I'm really thankful for. Okay, I think the meeting that the players had, the top players in the Bears had with Shane Waldron really paid off some dividends because the offense looked a lot better in this game than they have looked in the past couple of weeks. And again, they weren't perfect like this offense still is not great. I would say it's not a top offense in the NFL like I feel like they should be, but. They were able to move the ball down the field through the air and also through the ground. Like DeAndre Swift had his best game by far as a Chicago Bear. We had Cole Komet getting a couple of carries. We had uh, DJ Moore having a big time touchdown in the end zone, which was a great throw by Caleb Williams in traffic and a great catch also by DJ Moore. Like these are the type of things that I was hoping to see happen since the last couple weeks, okay, and they finally happened in this game. So hats off, man, to the Chicago Bears offense. And I also want to say hats off to Tory Taylor because Tory Taylor was a massive reason why the Chicago Bears won this football game. He had multiple 60 plus yard punts, and because of that field position that we gained off of Tory Taylor's punts, the Bears found a way to win this football game. We had good field position off of those punts. Our defense played pretty well. Our offense, you know, got some drives going after we forced a punt on the Rams side. So, guys, Tory Taylor was a massive, massive reason why we won this game. So, anybody complaining about that pick, you guys can shut up right now because he was a big, big reason why the Chicago Bears won this football game so leave your comments down below guys what did you guys think about this game this is a pretty short reaction video because i'm not gonna lie guys i'm definitely feeling it off of the shots i had during this game i had like nine or ten shots during the live stream so i'm definitely kind of feeling it right now so i'm not in the best position to give a very in-depth post game reaction video so i apologize for that but in my next video I'll, I'll definitely talk about this game a little bit more and just talk about you know what we can take away from it long term and again like i feel like we can't take away too too much from this game long term because our offense still has a ways to go you know caleb still has a ways to go our defense also can be better so like i i don't think the bears are gonna and make the Super Bowl off of this performance or anything, but it, it is it is a win at the end of the day, right? And the Bears only needed a win entering today, and the Bears got that win. So, you know, thank God we found a way to win. Leave your comments down below, guys. As always, bear down.